Yo, what's up everyone? Antonio Starr here, founder of the First Generation Millionaire. And today we're talking about Mike Tyson. Did y'all see the fight? But did y'all hear what Mike said? Let's get into it. Everybody is a star. Mike, your legacy in this sport is, is unique and it's beloved. You're one of the most beloved figures in the history of boxing. Before this fight, was there pressure on you thinking, man, if I go out there and I don't look great, perhaps I might hurt my past? Or did you feel just so confident in yourself that that never entered your mind? Wow, I never, never asked me that. The thought of failure never, thought, never creeped in my mind. I never, is that failure? I don't know. I don't f I don't damn. That was a hell of a question. In a good way or a bad way? No, in a way of, um, I'm I, I, I just have, how do I answer that question? I never think of my, I always, God, forgive me, God, I always think of myself as grandeur. I always think of myself as um, a roaring gladiator like Alexander the Great. I feel like I'm a ruler when I'm in my mind thinking about accomplishing something. I think possible, nothing's impossible to somebody who tries. So I never think about failure in that perspective. I think about failing, but not in that perspective. I guess in that way you've also you've answered the question. The pressure doesn't get to you. You don't allow it to get to you because you don't think of it at all. No, I need the pressure. Without the pressure, there's no me. Without the pressure, I don't have the guts to, to say, hey, I'm going to fight this guy. I have to have the pressure. Anything that I'm afraid to do, I do it. If, when I was young, when I was afraid to ask out a beautiful girl or a girl, or whoever, was, I would do it. Even if she was saying no, I would just do it just because I was afraid to do it. And um, that's just how I live my life. All right, what up, y'all? Antonio Starr here. So um, what I want to get into is, is Mike Tyson, you know, before, during, and, and after this big fight with Roy Jones. I call it a big fight because, straight up, those brothers are 50-plus years old, and they were able to spar for 16 minutes in, you know, brutal combat pugilism at its greatest, right? But um, what I noticed while Mike was in the ring with Roy is that Mike was the most fearless of the two. And I even told my wife, I was like, Yo, I, I think Mike is willing to die in that ring. He even talked about dying in the post-interview and how beautiful death should be if, if life is so great, right? Um, but Mike was willing to die in that ring. I saw it in his face. I saw it in his, in his eyes. I saw the joy in, in his body, in his posture, as he was back to doing what he loved so much. Where Roy on the other side, Roy was like, I just don't want to die. And it's a different type of posture when you don't want to die, right? But, you know, after the interview, Mike was talking about, as you see in the clip, him talking about failure. And the, 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 the interviewer asked him, like, Mike, did you have any fear of failure coming into this fight? And Mike was just dumbfounded. Did you see it? Like, Mike was just dumbfounded. Like, yo, no one has ever asked me that question before. I never even thought about that before, man. I never thought about failing to that degree. I never thought about it. And he was, the interview was just as dumbfounded as Mike was because it's like, he's probably thinking, I think about failing all the time. But Mike was saying, in my mind, in my mind, I am the greatest. I am the baddest mf -er to ever do this. I am the gladiator. No one can defeat me. No one can defeat me. And anyone that has the same mindset should approach it and, and they should approach their challenges the same exact way. Nobody can defeat you. There is nothing that can stop you from being great. And this is how Mike moves. It, he believes it. He believes it so much that it was in his 54th year of existence that he took time to think, damn, what, what if I fail? <laughs> what if I get knocked out? What if, you know, I never thought about that because I am above that. I am above that family. And this is the message I want to bring to you guys. I'm going to bring so many more messages like this. Um, because mindset is the number one trigger. Mindset is what we all need to improve, to move and elevate to that next level of life. Mindset is what we need to, to create and control 
if we want to truly be our greatest selves. It starts with the mindset, ladies and gentlemen. And Mike Tyson has a mindset that all of us should not necessarily admire, but that we should notice and we should recognize and we should try to replicate. And this is probably, think about this, it's probably why Mike has never really suffered major, major loss inside the ring. And the only time when, remember when Mike went to the corner, I forget what fight it was, and Mike said, I'm not coming back out. I'm done. I don't have the love for this anymore. I'm done. The fight is over. That's because his mindset has shifted elsewhere and to other things. And that was a moment that he lost that gladiator mindset. So my advice to you, family, is to watch this video over and over again. Share it with people over and over again. And also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because there's more content. There's more content like this that's coming on a regular basis. But today is about your mindset. And anyone that thinks that can be unstoppable. Anyone that really thinks and believes that in their core is unstoppable. It's the people that have that little bit of fear that they allow that fear to cause them to second guess themselves. Those are the ones that get hurt. Look at, um, um, man, I forgot my man's name. I'll put it in here. They got knocked out, the basketball player. They got knocked out in, in, in the fight before Jones and Tyson. You can see it in his eyes that he had the fear. He didn't have the confidence. He didn't have that gladiator mindset. He didn't have that gladiator mentality. He went into survival mode. He got hit one time and he went into survival mode. If you just get hit one time and you switch from being gladiator to being a, a, a person that's just trying to survive, that's when you get hurt. That's when you will get killed. That's when your belief system will get murdered. Antonio Starr. I represent the first generation millionaires of America, of the world, and the mindset that's needed to become that. I appreciate you watching this video. Make sure, again, you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video. Let's dialogue more. Tell me about your gladiator mindset. Do you have the belief system? Do you have the belief system? Are you able to allow the pressure of life and things to push you, as Mike Tyson said? Do you have that within you? If you do, share it. Matter of fact, give me a story in the comments of how you allowed the pressure to embolden you and to bring out that inner gladiator mindset so that you can attack a situation and overcome and be victorious. Even if it was just talking to a girl that you were intimidated by, let me know below. Y'all have a good one. Peace. Peace.